Hello and welcome everybody to Burn to Learn. This is Rod Davis and in this video we're going to show you how to use Outlook 2016 to delete emails you don't want and how to get rid of all that spam that sits in your inbox. You ready? Let's go. So let's begin. We're going to start with showing you how to delete an email. As you can see on the screen we have several emails we just click on the one that uh, we're concerned about deleting and there are two ways we can do it we can go scroll up to the top of the banner and click on the delete or we can hover on the email we want to to delete and over on the right side is a delete indicator we could click that now let's go back to the top and just click the delete button right there and you see the email's gone we successfully deleted an email now it's time to do a deeper dive into the delete function so go up to the top of your screen and click on the email that we want to get rid of and then click the ignore button this produces a pop-up of instructions saying the selected conversation and all future messages will be moved to the trash folder. Just click ignore conversation and we are done. We just showed you how to ignore conversations. Now let's bring our attention to the cleanup function. Click on cleanup at the top there and you see the three options. The first is to clean up conversations. When you click on clean up conversation, this removes the message from the person that you no longer want to hear from again. If we click on clean up folder, not only will it remove the most message from the person you don't want to hear from again, but it will remove it from the folder wherever her message is in the folder it will be removed if we click on clean up folder and subfolder now the email sender that you don't want to receive email from again will be removed from not only the folder but all subfolders where that email exists from that sender we've covered ignore conversations we've covered cleanup uh, functions including conversations and folders and subfolders now we're going to show you how to use the functions for junking and blocking to begin with select an email that you are tired of and don't want to keep then scroll over to junk and you see here's the option where you can block this email from this sender so click on that and the email disappears and as you can see on your screen you get a, a inquiry box asking you do you really want to do this and we do so we're going to click OK and now we're going to look at some other options that are particularly important to handle junk emails so click the junk email option and you get this instruction box you can personalize what you want to do first let's click on safe senders here's a list of all of the people and sources that send you emails that you are happy with then there's safe recipients this is the list of recipients that you are happy about sending your emails to then there's the block senders and we click here and we see the very email we just blocked it will list all of the emails that you block now you can do this domestically or you can do it internationally just click OK and we're done so we've deleted permanently things from our trash bin now let's say you want to archive an email so go to inbox and select the email that you wish to archive we're selecting the first email then go up and click on the archive button and it asks you uh, what do you want to do 
and it points out that we don't have any folder currently so let's click on create a folder and when we click on create a folder notice how the archive now appears on the left let's click on that and there you have the email that we have archived we can change the name of the folder uh, just by clicking on the word archive you see now we can change it and we're going to change the name to leisure that's what this is all about and there we have it okay we have shown you all that you need to know about the delete function in Outlook 2016. And if you want, you can rewatch the video anytime you have a question. In our next tutorial, we're going to teach you how to use the reply function. Until then, have fun.